And this week is also Hurricane Preparedness Week, where we take a time out of the month of May before the start of the season in June to break down things that you need to prepare for or you need to know ahead of the upcoming hurricane season. So today we're going to focus on understanding the forecast information. Could be a bit overwhelming whenever a storm is approaching, the information coming through every few hours, new updates, but you need to know how to take that information and apply it to your life. So the first thing we want to focus on is how to rely on forecasts from the National Hurricane Center and your local National Weather Service office. Whenever receiving information, you always want to be sure that it's from a trusted source. Know your alerts and the difference between a watch and a warning. A watch means to start getting prepared. A warning means to take action now. You also need to focus on the potential impacts regardless of storm size and category. I think we know that all too well here in southeastern Texas that it's not exactly how big a storm is that's directly correlated to how big the impacts are in your part of town. We've seen even tropical storms provide more damage than category two, three hurricanes here. 